here we go. I'm charging the batteries, uh, the, well, the three cell LiPo there, for the Lotus quadcopter. I'm going to do a bit of a fly with the keychain camera on so you can see what it looks like from on board. But while I'm charging the battery, I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at how I store my LiPos. Here we go. See this? A large cinder block. This is one of the concrete blocks and has two holes. And I put my LiPos in there and it's on a concrete floor, quite a way away from anything else. So if the unthinkable happened and my LiPos burst into flame, hopefully that fire will be contained and nothing else will catch on fire. So that's a good tip for you if you've got a lot of LiPos. Get one of these concrete or several of these concrete blocks and put them in there and stick them on the concrete floor miles away from anything else like uh, fuel or wood or anything else that might burn. And you know that's a good way to do it. If you don't have a cinder block then you can use this method as well. Here I have just a stainless steel uh, kitchen thing. So if you've got a battery now these are a bit puffed, you see, so I didn't want to put them in the block with the others. Um, that one's flat, and here's one that's also very, very puffed. So I put my puffed lipos under, oops, excuse me, under the stainless steel pot. So if they go poof, then again, even the flames will be contained. There'll be smoke pouring out the sides, but hopefully it won't set anything on fire. Now back to my charging lipo, and I will uh, also show you, as you can see over here. Excuse the mess. There's my computer power supply, which I've converted into a power source for my charger. So that's delivering 12 volts to the old Tunergy Excel 6 charger, which I'll be reviewing shortly as well. So there you go. I'll have a little project on making your own power supply from a computer power supply. We've all got those laying around. And uh, shortly I'll put the Lotus gyro up with the keychain camera on it so you can see what that looks like from the air.